Hey guys, so in this video I wanted to make an advanced guide. I'm just going to be talking through some clips, um, things that maybe I did right or wrong, things other players did right or wrong, uh, just kind of a general overview of some of the strategies involved. So hopefully it uh, helps you guys oh. out. Players, Mosin, North, and Bastard spotted me quick. I don't know where he went. I think he went far left. He went less? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I hear him. Yeah, dude. I'm full dead. Fuck. I got a bunch of zombies on me. Dude! Oh wow. I got one. Nice. The other one's across the water towards grave. Oh my god. He's on top of me. Jesus, dude, that thing hurts. So automatic Mosin is way too overpowered, especially at this range. Like he's using it, it's probably like the ideal range for it. So, I mean, he only has hit me like twice to kill me with it. So he misses a lot of shots here, luckily, and I'm able to take him down. But I mean, honestly, that thing is ridiculous. It's a thousand dollars, but still, I feel like I feel like it's a little bit overpowered compared to all the other weapons in this game. So I'm just arriving at the boss complex here, and instead of just going straight to fight him, I'm going to check out the area. End up getting four kills. Catch these guys trying to sneak in. Um, almost immediately after them, there's another team that tries to come in. And they weren't making any noise. They were trying to be as sneaky as possible. That's why you just got to keep your eyes out. You know, realize that there's probably people trying to trying to sneak up to you. So just always, always keep an eye out. This is a pretty dirty kill. Uh, it's, bullet penetration is definitely a thing in this game, especially with the uh, long ammo weapons like the Sparks that I'm using right now and the uh, uppercut and the Mosin, so keep that in mind. So where these guys fucked up is they were camping too close to the extraction instead of trying to ambush me like on the way they hang out here to where it's going to give me a, a warning noise like the chugging on the boats going off right now and they're throwing dynamite like they're thinking I'm just going to run straight to the extraction but obviously I'm not going to do that I'm just kind of hanging out in here trying to get a grasp of where they're at and now I've kind of basically guessed that they're to the right so I'm going to go um, try and flank around, go wide right here. I'm still not exactly sure where they're at, but I have a feeling they're to the right here. So I'm just going to keep going wide right, stay moving, uh, try and spot them before they, can, before they can get the drop on me.
rest in peace. This is a good example of waiting to shoot. I thought about shooting that barrel right there, but then I remembered the clue. It was right up there, so I knew he was going to go up there and get that clue. And obviously he's going to stand still while he's getting the clue, so I'm just wait. Easy headshot. So I don't know exactly where they're at, but I'm immediately going to heal. Anytime I get over half my health taken away like that, I'm immediately hitting a vitality shot. And that's why I always bring in 2-3 to three every game, because you need them a lot. And I just went for cover, was able to get a few shots on them. And frag bombs are, are really good for players, fighting players. This one ends up taking out this guy. Vitality shot to full health saves me right here because without that, that guy would have got me. So this is an example of why you don't just go shooting grunts because it's going to attract players when you're just popping off Winchester rounds like this. And I mean these poor guys, I think they were pretty new to the game. so. Hopefully they realize that <laughs> you shouldn't just be shooting it at grunts if you can help it. And I'm not sure if there. It looks like there's three guys here like teaming. I don't. I've never seen that before. But this is an example of when not to shoot. For one, because. I'm terrible at the Winchester at that range. Two, there's three of them, so I have no idea where all of them are. This guy ends up getting me because I don't see him. So I'm just headed to uh, the extraction and I hear these horses, so I immediately know someone is behind me in this area. And. Without that giveaway, I would have never known he was stalking me, and he could have very well killed me. So, just try not to give away your position with noises. Horses gave you away. Another example of players camping too close to the extraction. Now I thought they were honestly on the left side. I didn't realize that they were over here to the right until I got shot. And honestly, if they were probably more accurate, I would I would have probably died right here. But luckily for me, I just kept moving, kind of doing some some bunny hopping, so I'm harder to hit and get get in some cover, get myself set up to fight them. Better luck next time. So I just killed the spider and I'm banishing him. And at certain complexes, like this one in particular, I really like hanging out on the roof because, yeah, it leaves you exposed, but it allows you to see basically the whole entire area and you can kind of see people approaching like I'm like I'm seeing this guy. So it's definitely an advantage. You just gotta 
<clears throat> you gotta stay aware of the fact that you're more exposed than you would be like inside of a building or something. This guy knows how to ambush. Instead of waiting until I'm at the extraction up here, he uh, catches me out in the open when I'm least expecting it. And I end up spotting him pretty quickly, even though he's got that tier 3 ghillie suit. But unfortunately, I missed my shots. I have to deal with this stupid zombie. And. So it's a really stressful situation, and I try and heal when I should have. He lands a shot, takes me out, gets the bounty, so good example of how to do that. The one's right next to it if you want to do it. This is why you don't run next to red barrels. One's down, one's down. He's at the far right. Yeah. Let's see if I can get him. See him? Oh, I found the armor. So, always trying to avoid going through deep water if you can, because you have to wade through it and it makes you a lot easier to hit. But honestly, I should have waited right here. I kind of messed up because if both of them would have been in the water, it would have been two easy kills. Instead, his buddy gets away, ends up reviving him, and we have to fight them both. Yeah. So, just wait for that perfect shot. It was like times, yeah. He didn't have a hot one or anything. I think he's in the long grass in the left or in this tree line somewhere. Bless you. So when you spawn in, just always be aware that there could be players around. In certain areas, like the Land Suns Fish here, have uh, a really high chance of having someone spawn next to you. God damn it. Why you ask that? One's hurt. He's not down there. I should have waited. There's a hive on that. Yeah. I don't like being in this water. I see him. I don't know why. Got him. Nice. He's got a partner? Yep. Oh, poor bastard. He's, He's down. He was on fire. He must have got hit by a... Yeah, he got hit by a zombie too. He, he twitched. It's like the last second. God damn it. one behind the shed. Oh, in it. Oh, oh, one of them's to the right. I got him. He's on. He's on me. He's right. underneath this thing. I don't see him. Oh, he is. Got him. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah, I saw him. I hit him. Might have nice. killed him. No, 
No, he's not dead. I think he is now. God, I, I love the sparks, honestly. It's one of the coolest reloads. It's just one of the best sights. Yeah. And it has the velocity that the Mosin has. The damage, just not the fire rate. Okay. Okay. They might try. Oh. Ooh. All right. That was northwest, wasn't it? Oh no. Yeah. I'm gonna go up in this house. Okay. I've never been in here, so. Oh, you can't. There's no second story. So I heard this guy shoot and decided just to. Yeah, wait they're on gonna come through this area probably. They're just. <clears throat> kill him before he. Come on, boys. Has a chance to get a shot on us. Come on, let's make it a full house. Yeah. I see him. Dead. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh shit, what? No. So here we were kind of hanging out on the roof when we shouldn't have been. And my buddy gets taken out. I know it's from that area, the south, but I don't know where. So I'm just kind of looking around. The bad thing about being on the roof is you are exposed, like I was saying earlier, and it's also really hard to get revived, so I can't revive them, so I gotta take both of these guys out if we're gonna live. I still don't see where he's shooting from. He's in a really sneaky spot, I guess. That or I'm just blind. I, saw, I see him there, but uh, turn around and buddy's already right behind me. He's behind you, he's on the roof. Coming Again, down. vitality shots. Right Save me. Restore my health, stop my bleeding. Roof. Dropping down. Buddy's calling him out. Missed some shots right there, but... I heard him enough to back off a little bit. And honestly, it's not the ideal situation. I don't have... I don't have much ammo for my dulge, which... Can be a really good plus quarters weapon, yeah, but... I think I hear him to my left. Luckily he misses, I, I get the headshot. I still have to deal with his partner. Minnesota door. Luckily for me too though, he uh, he didn't push with him, so... It, like, if he would've pushed and already been upstairs right here, he could've easily taken me out going up the ladder, but... He's still over where he was before. That's immediately where I look. I see him. So. Nice. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Last clip here, and uh, yeah, yeah. we have one bounty already, and we see these guys headed for the extraction, so we decided to try and cut them off, and they go up in this building, which is pretty smart. Uh, it gives them the advantage. Uh, they have the high grounds and they have the buildings, all that stuff, more cover. It almost turns out pretty badly for us, but I'm able to pull it off, luckily. Um, so it's definitely risky going for the bounty, for the gauntlet, especially especially when you're trying to take it from other high-level players. Yeah, they're up top. Yeah, I see them. <laughs> I think they're on the other side on top. Shit, they're shooting through the fucking door. I got one. Nice. So here, I, I messed up pretty badly. I should have opened that door to the He's left to and gone for the, gone for the easy headshot. I, I knew he was reviving them, but I just tried to shoot through the wood and no! it didn't work. He gets revived and... Could have been bad. How did I not kill him, dude? He revived him. Fucking bullshit. I'm gonna push, fuck it. I gotta push. I think I killed one. I got one. Nice. I see his partner.
Fuck, I'm almost out of ammo. Oh, shit. Come on, bitch. One more shot left. With my fucking sparks. Oh, I think I killed him. Nice. I hit him. I fucking hit him straight up. No, I didn't kill him. So this has been my take on an advanced guide for Hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you uh, if you liked it, if I can improve on anything, all that good stuff. Good luck out there. Good shit, man. Yeah, that was intense.